Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is a midweek, uh, well, near end of week live stream. Not really the norm for me, but I just thought I'd get in and uh, cover a couple of things. Well, we're gonna do one thing, and I'll do another live stream here and cover the other one. Hopefully Sunday. I'm not really sure. Um, but it was pointed out to me that uh, you know I posted the my fret spacing calculator that I use. Uh, um, you may have seen it in a few videos. Um, I did post it for my Patreon, so a dollar a month, you know, lots of Fusion 360 drawings. And uh, I, you know, I, I like to help out the Patreons as much as I can. And uh, so if a Patreon member sends me a problem they're having a Fusion, I go and fix that for them and maybe give them some ideas on how they can get through some stuff, some of this stuff. Um, but one of the points was made that um, they didn't really know how to install uh, these add-ins and how to use the add-ins. So um, I'm going to go over that. Um, it's pretty simple, um, but we'll, we'll also cover like how to look at the code. One of the cool things is um, I'm giving you uh, Python code that you can go through and look at how I've uh, accomplished these tasks and maybe learn how to start making your own add-ins. Um, and it really opens up a lot of really cool possibilities for Fusion. Um, I'm in the process of creating some uh, Fusion add-ins for the fret probing um, on our, uh, you know, our homemade DIY Plex system that we're working on. Um, hopefully there'll be more videos on that um, as I progress. Um, but yeah, so let's just dig into it here. Let's, uh, so first I'll pop over into Fusion. Um, and this is our regular fusion screen right here and you're, usually you're in the solid here but you can see these tabs up here on the left side and they've in the the recent additions since they changed the ui the user interface um, configuration was changed a while back and uh, a lot of people were really bugged by that but it, it hasn't really been a big deal for me but um, over here in tools when you select tools then you get the add-ins um, window right here and if you click on this add-ins window, it just brings up um, your scripts and your add-ins. So add-ins, you can see right here, I have the fret spacing calculator here and it's running because I have it set to run on startup just because I use it all the time. Um, now, how do you get it into here? That's an interesting question. So let's pop over here into another window. Essentially, it's as simple as this. You just add it to this folder. So it's, you know, app data roaming, Autodesk, Autodesk Fusion, API, add-ins, and then in this add-ins right here, this is where all of your, you can see I've got two old versions in here. Um, so all that folder that you get from the Patreon site, you unzip that and you just pop it into here. And then when you bring up this add-ins, it's gonna be right here. Um, you can run it or you can click uh, run on startup and it will always be there for you. Now, once it's running, and when you click this little add-ins, oh, sorry, let me get you to a window where you can see what's going on. Once it's running, um, in there's the add-ins um, image here, and then right below it, there's this little drop-down. So now you can see, oh, I wanna get this. <laughs> a little bit of difficulty here. So you can see when I click add-ons here, um, now I have the fret spacing calculator. So, this fret spacing calculator is just a pretty um, straightforward script. And uh, let me bring this to where you can see it. Um, so essentially you get two things. You get a, it, it set, it's set to the defaults. So you can set your scale length here. If you wanna do a base, or um, you, one of the things that I like to do is you can actually use the measure function right here. You can click measure and, and measure from your drawings, your scale length, if you have a custom scale length. Um, the fret spacing constant, this is a pretty standard number for our modern temperament uh, in uh, string instruments, but if you wanted to do a historical representation or you want to do a mess around with that, you can change, you can click this, um, click this, uh, what is this called? A checkbox here, and then you can change this constant to whatever you want. Um, you know, this, this is a number that started out around 18 and our modern temperament uh, diatonic system um, works really good with 17.817 so you can add the number of frets in here um, and then you can add the nut and the width of the width of the nut and the bridge um, I don't really rely on these so much a lot of times I'll just go like something that's bigger on both of them and then um, you can see everything updates as you change it um, and I'll show you how it does that in the code as well but 
um, it's a pretty simple little add-on here and it's just gonna create you a sketch with with your frets right so now I have this sketch with my fretboard on it very simple very quick very easy um, uh, there's a lot more there's a I, I don't know if you guys have seen it but there's a uh, there's a another engine for I think it's called the guitar engine and it will do fretboards and necks and all kinds of stuff like that um, way more complex but uh, I wanted something that was just very quick simple and easy that I could just drop a fretboard into whatever drawing that I was doing so I created this um, you know definitely check it out um, the the rest of this video I'm gonna talk about some more complex stuff about coding so if you're not interested in that stuff then you can leave now but uh, you know yeah it's not as hard as you might think so this is all done in Python and Python's an incredibly easy language to work with so uh, it, it's not as hard as people make it out to be so let's go ahead and check it out so um, what happens is that this is all coded in uh, in this uh, Visual Studio code um, which is supposed to uh, um, it's supposed to populate and come in when you create an add-in so if I go here to add-ins and bring this up again and go add-ins and I go create whatever I create a new add, a new add-in right here and then uh, and then I, I just name it test and then you run it and it gives you your your basic hello add-in um, so what you should be able to do stop this one um, what you should be able to do is click edit and it's supposed to load in it used to load in spider um, it's supposed to load in visual code and I've had a lot of trouble with getting this to load properly so a lot of times what I have to do is I have to go in, into visual code and just open that file from the add-ins um, folder so this is the code right here for the uh, for the fret calculator um, it's pretty straightforward I mean there's some some complexities to it but if you watch a few um, basic uh, Python uh, videos and like start looking through the fusion 360 documentation on the API uh, you'll see that there's a lot of really cool uh, information there about getting started with making your own add-ins and uh, yeah it if you're a patreon member um, download this thing check out the code um, install it um, see if everything's working for you um, I, I haven't had a chance to load this on a Mac or other versions so it's hard to tell if it's everything's gonna work the way it's supposed to work but um, that's where we're at right now um, I just thought I'd take a chance to for you guys to check that out and look at it see what you think um, it's a really helpful tool for me before I um, built this I was used just going to the stew Mac fret calculator and by hand putting in all of those fret offsets and that was a real pain so um, I hope this helps some people um, I hope this gets some people started doing some coding and working on their Python code um, it is a, an excellent language to start with if you're a beginner learn Python um, I did not start with Python but uh, I really like it so um, check that out I hope you guys enjoy this I hope you join up um, if you're not a patreon member the patreons are one dollar a month and you get access to a ton of my fusion 360 content um, I do um, just like this video this video is a request from a patreon member so thanks for watching uh, uh, check everything out and uh, I, I love that you guys uh, keep supporting the channel and the channel continues to grow and uh, we will catch you guys next time Thanks.